Now, when faced with a terminal illness, choosing treatment or not is a personal one. Some go the way of President Carter, but tonight, Felina Jones introduces us to one man who's deciding to laugh away his days. Oh, I got a good hand. In the card game of life, Marvin Hines is coming up all heart. Well, I get four points for all, all hearts. Despite being diagnosed with terminal melanoma. And it went down my neck on both sides and, and under my arms. But I beat that one. That one I beat. I was free for 15 months. And then, melan and then an acorn popped up on my ear. After playing all his cards with treatment and surgeries, Marvin's chosen to live the rest of his days in hospice care. It's widespread, and if you find one spot and you treat it, you've accomplished nothing because the other spots keep on moving. At 90, President Jimmy Carter is facing the same disease with four spots of cancer that spread to his brain, but he's chosen to do radiation. How long he'll live and also the quality of life if you can stop these things from growing for a period of time, his functional status will remain as it is. Despite advancements in treatment, Dean Clinic Dr. Michael Frontera says choosing treatment is not always the best option for everyone. Someone who is debilitated, in a wheelchair, can't walk, they're not gonna tolerate much in the way of treatment just because it's gonna add to those things. You may discuss Let's just keep you comfortable. A comfort Melvin's found peace with at his new home at a grace. I'm enjoying, <laughs> I'm enjoying having some fun with them all. Mm -hmm. And you know, they don't, they don't let me mope and cry and stuff. They keep me as happy as they can do it. Using laughter <laughs> as his trump card. If this is my last days, I thank the good Lord for it. In Madison, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. And we certainly wish, Mar wish Marvin well. All heart there.